I wanted to show you guys a really cool way to do some programming right at home on a web-based program that requires no download on your part. Yay! Um, go to roboticseducation.org. I'll save the link on the assignment that I'm about to give you guys. Remember with the assignments, let's not get crazy with the due dates. That's not necessarily um, what we're going for here. We want you to learn the material. That's the important stuff. So if and when we get back, we will be able to go right into building and programming robots. So we use VEX Robotics and VEX is aff affiliated with this REC Foundation, which does a lot of education stuff for VEX Robotics. And the program um, that we're going to be using is a VEX Robotics program. So if you come down here, you hit VEX Robotics. There's lots of other cool stuff. If you want to do some engineering stuff, you can go through some of this and see if any of this is uh, applicable. I haven't had a time yet. We're still struggling to make sure we have enough stuff to give you guys. So down in VEX Robotics, they opened up this VEX code VR or virtual reality. What this does is this allows you to um, code and see the, um, the effects of your coding and how effective it is. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to have you guys go down to where it says VEX code VR activities. And you're going to see a ton of things. You're going to see a couple of things for the teacher. I don't need to sign in. Uh, new to VEX code, you don't need to sign in. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to distance drive. Click on that. And it's going to give you a couple different things you're going to want to try. Now, this is basically the assignment. This is not what you're submitting to me. This is what you need to do. Okay. So when you look at this assignment, you're going to see they want you to do a couple of real basic things. There's three basic things. Level one, program a robot to drive forward three grid squares. How far should you program the robot to move if you want to go three grid squares? Well, each grid square is 200 millimeters. The robot itself occupies one of the grid squares. All right, so if we want to go three more, that would be 600 millimeters. Okie dokes. So let's go and we see some of the problems we have. I'll leave this open up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the actual program. And the way you find that is this is brand new. They ended up sticking this little thing. The people from VEX were concerned about anybody losing time programming. So we're taking care of you guys. Here we go. Go to VEX code VR. And here you can see where you do your actual programming. This is very similar to uh, Robot C in that all the commands are on the left side here, and you can just drag and drop them. So depending on what you want to accomplish, you can choose different groups of commands. No matter what, you start with when started, okay? On Robot C, that would be where it says task, right? That would be telling the, the robot exactly what you wanted to accomplish. So let's take a look. So the first thing we need to do, we'll go back to my assignment, distance driving. I have it open twice here. Let's see. Yeah, I have it open twice. I was playing around with it. Let me get rid of one of them. I got enough browser windows anyway. Uh, but if you look over here on distance driving, you're going to have to just go forward three grid squares. Doesn't ask you to come back. Doesn't ask you to go right. Not yet. So I'll go back to the program itself. And you have a few comments here. One is to drive forward. This is to drive forward with a distance. This sounds like exactly what we need. We'll drag and drop it, link it into the when started. And instead of 200 millimeters, we need to go 600. All right, pretty cool. So next thing you want to do, I'm going to cover in the next video. So my video is ending in 21 seconds. And I will show you how this works in the next video. So hang tight.